In this video, we're going to talk about the advanced operational features available with Sequence Manager for the HMI ActiveXs that you can use in Factory Talk View Site Edition. Here we have a sample display showing those ActiveXs, and we've selected one of the available Sequence Manager <coughs> sequences that are in our controller, and we're looking at the details and the sequencing parameters that we can set for those. So let's set some values for our sequence and run our sequence and then talk about some of the advanced features available such as pause, auto pause and active step change. For this execution of our sequence let's set a heat time of 10 seconds and a power to charge amount of 50 kilograms. We'll set a batch ID for our execution And then I'll enable the additional operator controls on our Sequence Manager ActiveX. From here, I'll select to put our sequence into pause, where what will happen is when we start, it will pause at the next active transition and will not move any further until we resume. A transition is the <coughs> condition where it moves from one step to the next. So at the top of our sequence here, to move from the start, to our charge powder equipment phase step. We have a transition with a pause mode enabled. It will sit at this transition at the top here and it will not move on. So let's start our sequence. And here you can see that we're now paused at that transition. The sequence will remain here now until I resume. Once I've selected that I wish to resume, the pause is removed and the sequence will no longer pause. I have the option of enabling auto pause, where now it will pause at every transition until I select resume. Now if I don't want it to pause at every transition, I need to remove the auto pause. So here you can see our charge has completed and we've now paused at the next transition. I'll select resume and we'll move on to the next step. If I wish to then go back to completely automatic operation, I have to cancel the auto pause and cancel the pause that's now available. If I don't, as you can see, the sequence has then paused at the next transition. So let's resume to our next step and cancel the pause. We now have the option of entering manually and repeating some steps. So let's enter into manual mode. In manual, the recipe will not automatically execute and transitions will not automatically complete. And when phase is complete, Sigma Manager will also not automatically send commands to reset them. So here you can see that this transfer out phase is complete but it's not received the command from Sequence Manager to reset itself to idle and it's not moved on to the next stage which in our case is the end of the recipe. So let's then use another advanced feature of Sequence Manager, the step change, to repeat some steps in our sequence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the step change interface in our control here And then I'm going to do some manual operations on these equipment phases. My transfer out at the moment is currently complete. And by clicking on it, you bring up a little interface which allows you then to manually send commands when in manual mode. So let's send a reset command to place this equipment phase back into idle. Now we have <coughs> our equipment phase in idle, we are allowed to execute a manual step change. On the left here, we have our step change interface, and we can see that currently we have one active step. In order to perform a step change, what we have to do is deactivate any currently active steps and activate the step we wish to move to. So, in our list, I'm going to add 
the step I wish to activate, which in our case is step one, charge powder. Our interface then updates to show us that this is the step we'd like to go to. But it's also warning us at the moment <coughs> that we can't go to that step without deactivating the currently active step. So let's add our currently active step to the list of steps to deactivate. Now we have no warnings and we're ready to apply that step change. So let's hit the apply button. Okay, Our step change is now completed successfully. We've moved our active step to the charge powder. We're now ready to resume execution from the step. So in order to do that, we click on our step. <clears throat> we tell that step to start. And then we exit manual mode. So the sequence manager will then continue with automatic operation. We'll let our charge <clears throat> complete. And at the end of our charge, you'll see that now it's in automatic. It will complete, reset to idle, and then automatically move on to the next step. So that concludes our show of the advanced features of sequence manager for the operator interface.